Hi, I'm Steve Gordon. You can call me the carpet repair guy. A lot of people do. So if you're watching this video, it could be because you have some questions about carpet patching, and I'll try to answer a few of them best I can. If you have any additional questions, you'll probably want to click on the link in the description of this video and go straight to the carpet patching page on my main website. If, um, if that doesn't answer all your questions, you can always call the office and we're happy to talk to you and answer any questions at all before we actually go out there and give you a bid on your carpet repair. So the first question people normally have about carpet patching is, will they see the patch? And the only honest answer I can give you about that is maybe. Well, maybe yes you will, and maybe no you won't, and well, just maybe, maybe. Depends on a lot of different factors. One factor will be the type of carpet. If it's a short nap carpet, like this type of carpet that I have right here behind me, see how short it is? This is kind of a commercial type carpet, and the rows are real obvious, obvious which direction the rows run. Well, if we do a patch in this carpet, and we cut, we cut the carpet in a square to cut a piece out, and replace it with a new piece, the seams that go with the grain they're going to look pretty good in most cases, but the seams that go right across the grain, well, you're, you're going to see those seams. There's really no doubt about it on a short nap carpet. On a longer nap carpet, like the carpet I grew up with back in the 70s and the 60s, well, you could seam that carpet together with your eyes closed running the wrong direction uh, with a dull knife. I uh, cut it with a dull knife and it's still going to look pretty good. But not people have that long plush carpet anymore. Most carpet today is something like around that thick. So, may or may not show the seam, depending on the type of carpet. Another reason why you may see the seam is because of the donor carpet that we use to do the patch with could be completely different than the carpet that we're removing. You see, if you've had that carpet installed for six months or a year, or years and years and years, that carpet is faded from sunlight, it's faded from wear and tear, it may have been washed or cleaned, there's um, been people walking over it, then again, maybe it's not faded out, but it could be uh, soiled. After all, if you laid a uh, sweater out on the carpet and walked over it for a couple of years, it would be pretty soiled, and that's the same with the carpet. Now, if we take out that carpet and replace it with a another piece that looks like brand new, that color difference and that wear pattern difference will certainly be very much different. So you're going to see the difference there also. By and large, you can generally see a patch at least a little bit. Now, there are some photographs on my main website that show some patches that are completely invisible. That's the exception, not the rule. That being said, if you've had a dog or a cat or a hamster ruin your carpet, or if your kid has left his, uh, <laughs> we've, we've patched carpets for so many different reasons. Well, I can remember one case where the kid had an aquarium with a snake in it, and the, they have the, uh, the heat lamp that goes on top of the aquarium. He takes the heat lamp and he puts it on the carpet, and uh, surprise, surprise, there's a nice burn mark on the carpet. Other times you have teenagers smoking out of their hookah, and the little coffin to their hookah, and it'll be a big splatter burns in a circle right around that stupid smoking thing. Um, so it'll look a lot better. The point is, is that if you have your carpet patched, it's probably because it really needs it, and the patch, although it may be slightly visible, it's going to look a lot better than it looks right now. As far as the guarantee is concerned, we back up the quality of our work forever. It's an unlimited, unconditional, 100% lifetime labor guarantee, meaning that your carpet's going to wear out before you ever have any trouble with the patch we do for you. If that patch comes up before the carpet wears out, we will replace it at absolutely no charge to you, or we will give you a full refund at your choice. So we don't want that to happen, so we're going to do a real nice job for you. So I hope that answers some of your questions. Check out the main website at creativecarpetrepair.com. Give us a call. Oh, one other thing I could tell you is that when you call us to have us patch your carpet, we're going to give you a general idea of what it may cost you. We'll say something like, 
It could be between $150 and $250 to patch that car, but we really don't know. We really don't know until we see it. And that's, that's the answer. When we come out, we give you an actual bid. And once we bid on the carpet, we don't change the price. We can't really give you a, a firm bid until we actually see the carpet. So we want to give you a fair price because if you don't like the bid, well, we're going to walk out empty-handed. There's no obligation for us to do the work when we get there. So again, we want to give you a good fair price. If you feel the price is fair, we'd like to do the job right then and there. So that's the uh, one more thing. Um, if you call us to patch your carpet and you don't have any carpet to do the patch with, we can take the carpet from a closet. Sorry for going out of order. This is completely unscripted. After all, I'm a carpet repair guy. I'm not an actor. Um, we take carpet from a closet. If you don't have carpet in the closet, we could take it from a, under a piece of furniture or something. But you really do need to supply the carpet in order for us to do the patch. Some people will go buy a little bit of carpet to put back into the closet and we'll take the carpet closet to do the patch with. Now, if you have us come out to patch your carpet and you don't have any carpet to do the patch with, there's a $150 charge for that because we always ask if you have the carpet to do the patch. So if, you're, if, you, are, if you have any doubt at all that you may not have the carpet to do the patch with, don't call. You should call when you know you have the carpet. Otherwise, it's going to cost you. We can't go out there for nothing. Well, I hope that all makes sense for you. Get, find, a, find a little bit of donor carpet, call us to patch it, and we'll do a fine job and back it up forever. Again, I'm Steve Gordon, the carpet repair guy, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye-bye.